First things first, obviously I do not recommend soloing a galleon. It is a no bueno idea. Don't do it. Okay. First off, there's something you can do with your sword that you cannot do if you're not blocking. And that is a sword hop. Sword hopping can be done by blocking and then jumping forwards, backwards, right, and left. You cannot do this if you're not blocking. Backo LMAO, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So, this is a sword hop. You can do this to get around. You can block when you come up the ladder immediately if you'd like to. So if you are boarding, also we'll go over something else boarding related in a second. You can come up, immediately block, and then sword hop. Oh, I failed that one. And then sword hop right to the side to potentially avoid incoming shots. Um, I always block when I get up the ladder if I can. Um, and let's go on actually that boarding thing real quick. So, unless they have fixed it, which I don't believe they have, there is a method to silently board a ship with a sword. That method is to block before you grab the ladder. Once you block and grab the ladder, you will have the sound for the splash. So obviously this... You will hear that very obvious audible splash when you come up the ladder, but they will not if they are on the ship. So grabbing, uh, holding block, grabbing the ladder, going up, they are not going to hear you. I don't know why. I don't think they've fixed that so far, but I could be incorrect. How's it going, Baco? Um, a couple other things is sword dashing. Um, sword dashing obviously does not work well if you only charge it up. If you do this, I mean, that situation, you kind of go a little far. But if you're doing this normally, you don't jump. You're not going to go very far, and then you're going to get probably sword vortex by other players. So if you want to do it correctly, block first, which will still allow you to sword hop, by the way. And also, if you do this, if you try to sword dash normally, you can't jump once you're already charging it up. You can't jump at all during this period. I'm hitting spacebar, and I'm not going anywhere, for one. If you're going to dash, block first, and then jump with the shing. If it's not uh, working for you to time the jump with the shing, then there's a different method of doing it uh, if you'd like to. It's not necessarily more advanced. It definitely helps with the timing, at least for me personally. So if you block, do this normally. And the charge up time, charge up time, excuse me, between blocking or rather uh, starting the dash and then before the dash executes is about one and a half to two seconds. So you have about one and a half to two seconds to get your jump basically timed for that part. Obviously, again, there I didn't go very far. So if I'm standing here, for example, and I do not jump, I'm going to go an okay distance, but I'm not going to go as far as I can when I do jump. Now, I don't always do the alternative method of timing the jump because I always, sometimes I don't need it, but it's helpful. And that method of timing the jump is using the ground or the surface to bounce your dash off of. So if you would like to do this and you're trying to get a successful dash off of either the ground or, um, or a, uh, uh, say like the mast or a rock, etc. You can block, aim, and then bounce yourself off the ground. You can do that on a ship. It's like this, obviously, because you're just swiping against it. And you can do it with a rock. You can do it with any ground underneath your feet. You can bounce right off of it. I'm going to bounce right over the wheel with this method. It helps with the timing of the jump just a tiny bit for me. I don't need to do it anymore because I've dashed so many times, but this is obviously just an example. Yeah, it's a it's a sword lunge. It's a, not necessarily advanced, but I mean, I, when I when I first started playing the game, I'd see a lot of tutorials and people online saying that that it's an advanced method of doing the sword lunge, but it's it's not necessarily. So I'll do it again. Sword launch, that's only across the ship. Now, for this example, if you'd like to cancel your sword dash animation, it's best to do it, or rather, you can do it on a sloop 
or a brig. You can also do it on a galleon, but you have to be careful with what you do it with. And there's only so many options. Uh, you can hold both at once, uh, Bako, so you can hold a sword and a sniper. That's what my personal loadout is, but it all is everybody's individual preference. Um, the sword is good, the sniper is also good. The sword is a little broken at the moment, so I hope they'll do make some changes to how uh, far this, the swing is soon, but we'll see. Uh, for canceling a sword dash, just in case you miss the sword dash. So if you are attacking a skeleton, for example, and you miss the sword dash, like you're seeing at the end of my dashes, I'm getting stunned because the dash didn't complete successfully. If I had dashed through a skeleton, it's going to work just fine. But if I am fighting players, say I'm on my galleon or my brig, for example, and I'm fighting players, there are a couple methods that I can do if I miss the sword dash to try to get out of it as quickly as possible and then get back into the action. Basically, you can grab onto anything that requires interaction. Obviously, the anchor is out of... It's just not a choice here. Uh, whether or not it's dropped... Well, I guess if it's dropped... Um, no, it's still... Because it still puts you into the actual physical spot of the anchor. So, not a great idea for the anchor. Sails, also not a great idea. Because I'm just tapping F once. And it's putting me into a long animation where I'm going to stare up at the sails. On both pulleys. So, don't use the sails. The wheel can work so for example if i'm sword dashing somebody here i can grab onto the wheel real quick and try to get out of it and then continue fighting for example the harpoon as well oh, also the ladder real quick the ladder puts you in, into an animation where you look straight up so don't use the ladder the harpoon will work just fine especially on a sloop or a brig you can grab the harpoon and the reason why is because this animation of grabbing the harpoon and then releasing it is fastest as well as the cannon so for example if i board this galleon and these guys are on the cannons and they are going ham i'm gonna go ahead and charge up a sword dash here and if they move i can grab the cannon to essentially avoid the stun lock of not being able to move and get out of it i'm gonna do that one more time if i'm gonna sword dash across if you land within the area, so basically here, if you land within this area, you can real quick grab onto the cannon and release, just in case you miss the sword dash. So I'm gonna go like this. Oh, I missed the sword dash, I'm gonna grab onto the cannon. Uh, stun is, let's see. One, two, about one and a half to two seconds. So it can be a little, um, a little risky if you miss the dash. It's not a big deal against PVE in any way, but uh, actually, let's maybe go ahead and sail towards Cannon Cove and I'll hopefully find some skeletons to do an example on as well. There we go. Okay. Fine example of sword dashing against PVE. Like so. Block. And this still allows you to hop, obviously. If you can do the same thing with uh, players and get them lined up, then that works too. Block, prepare the dash, jump on the swing, and boom, just like that. And once you go through it, you will not get stunned. As long as it registers properly, because on occasion, it will fuck you up. And it will not let you, uh, even if you hit it successfully, even if you do complete the lunge, sometimes it'll still stun you. And hopefully that'll be remedied sooner or later. It doesn't seem to be a problem all the time, but it can be a problem. I, I believe you can do the same thing with pigs. So yeah, no stun there. You'll hear your character take a breath, but you're not going to get the actual stun lock where you can't move. Oh, hell yeah. See for us. Let's go. Um, let's see if we can get some more skellies to spawn. I'm just waiting for an ancient skelly. Come on, man. 